Hello from Seoul? Let me guess, you're craving for ramen, so spend 30 minutes driving, another 10 minutes finding a parking space, and 10 more minutes waiting for the ramen in the restaurant. But what if you can make authentic Japanese ramen in 15 minutes? What do you say? Today, I'm gonna make Japanese Tantan Man. One of the best things about this is it's so easy to make. But probably, some of you might think it's hard to get the ingredients because it's Japanese food. But don't worry about it. If you follow this recipe, nothing's gonna be a problem. Alright, let's get started. For this, you will need bok choy, mung bean sprouts, green onion, garlic, and ginger. Except for these aromatics, bok choy and mung bean sprouts are totally optional. So if you don't like them, you can skip them. But if you to make it fancier, you gotta compromise with this stuff because these will give you more authentic vibes. First, finely chop two cloves of garlic and a little bit of ginger. About two grams would be enough. What is important in this step is you should mince the ginger as fine as you can. If you're not confident with the knife skills, bring your grater. Otherwise, you have to say sorry to your family who accidentally had a piece of chunky ginger. I told you already, so if it happens, I'm not responsible. Next, chop some green onions into small pieces. Since the white part has a sharper and more intense flavor, I'm gonna use this for stir frying but the green part will be the garnish. And then bok choy. Depending on the size, cut it in half or a quarter lengthwise. I said it's optional but it will make your ramen look more appetizing like the one from restaurants. Remember, green always makes your dish look fancy. Plus, it's good for your health. This time, let's make the spicy pork topping. For this, you need ground pork. You can also use other meat but I strongly recommend pork because it will give you the best results for tantan men. To make the sauce, put a half teaspoon of sugar, one one tablespoon of Chinese chili bean paste, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of sake or mirin, and give it a good mix. If you don't have mirin or sake, you can replace it with soju or shaoxing wine, but not white wine. If it's impossible to get one of these, then just skip it. No problem at all. It just makes a slight difference in taste. So just try it. It's gonna be still delicious without it. Put one tablespoon of chili oil in a wok and place it over medium heat. If you can't handle spicy food, then you can just go for the cooking oil. That should be alright. Once the wok is heated, add 200 grams of ground pork, not ice cream. In this step, don't forget to break it down, otherwise it will become a whole chunk of meat. Then there's no point of using ground pork. Once it's cooked on the outside, add the chopped green onions, garlic, and ginger, and stir fry everything for about 1 minute. Now it's time to play with fire. Take a deep breath, and change the heat to high heat, and pour the sauce we made. If there's no one around you, then imagine you are a pro chef on a TV show and show me your work skills. Then that's gonna give you the smoky umami flavor to your ramen. Plus, it's a good chance to improve your work skills. But your stuff might get messy, which means your mom will get mad at you. But don't worry about it. Once she tries your tantan man, she will forgive you. Probably. Maybe. At this point, some of you might want to ask, Aaron, how long should I keep doing this? Unfortunately, I can't tell you the exact time because it can be different depending on many factors. But when most of the liquid has evaporated and the pork absorbs this amazing sauce, you're done. Let's make the paste for the soup base. For this, you need this Japanese roasted white sesame paste. But to some of you, it's not easy to find this, right? Actually, it wasn't easy for me either. Then what should we do? We can use tahini as a substitute. But still, some of you might say I can't get that either. I'm glad you brought that up. Then you can just use this peanut butter. You have one, right? For information, for the best result, I usually recommend creamy peanut butter but it doesn't really matter. So if you have only chunky one, just go ahead and use it because we're gonna add some peanuts anyhow. So just use what you have in your kitchen. In a small mixing bowl, put 2 tablespoons of peanut butter, 1 tablespoon of chili oil, 1 teaspoon of vinegar, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of mirin and give it a good mix. If you have this too, add 2 tablespoons instead of soy sauce and mirin. It will make your broth much deeper and more flavorful. And if you're a big fan of spicy food and wanna feel a little bit of shichan flavor, I mean mala flavor, you can add some shichan peppercorns. But to do that, 
that, you need to toss them and grind them up with a model and pestle. That means it's impossible to make ramen within 15 minutes. So to make it simpler, let's add a quarter teaspoon of shichan peppercorn flavored oil. And this can reduce our cooking time. Now, let's make the broth. Traditionally, for tantan men, people use chicken or pork bone broth. But we can't make that, right? It's gonna take more than 10 hours. But as always, don't worry about it. With me, you're gonna be alright. Put 1 cup of water, 2 cups of unsweetened soy milk, 1 tablespoon of chicken powder in a pot, and give it a mix. Some of you might say, what? Soy milk? Trust me, this soy milk will make your broth nice and creamy. Let's place it over low heat and bring it to a simmer. In this step, there are two things you should be aware of. First, you should not put a lid on. Second, you should use low heat because soy milk tends to spit over so easily. So rather than boiling, just warm it up with gentle heat. Seriously, if you don't take my advice, you will see a volcanic eruption in your kitchen. You will. Meanwhile, let's pour some water for the other ingredients. Once it starts to boil, blanch the bok choy and mung bean sprouts briefly. Before you do that, if you add some salt and oil in the water, that will become more shiny and beautiful. But I'm gonna skip that because if I make more dishes to wash, Claire's gonna be mad at me. Lastly, let's cook the noodles in the same water for about 1 or 2 minutes. Depending on the noodles, the cooking time can be slightly different. So make sure to read the cooking instructions at the back. Also, if you can get fresh ramen noodles just like me, you can also use some frozen noodles, dried noodles, or even instant ramen noodles like this. No problem at all, just use what you have in your kitchen. Now, in a serving bowl, put half of the seasoning paste, half of the broth, and stir it all together. After that, add the drained noodles into the broth. Here, try to spread the noodles as wide as you can so you can place the toppings for later. Otherwise, you might have to see your toppings sink into the soup. Sadly, let's place the toppings we prepared earlier. Mung bean sprouts, bok choy, spicy pork, and green onions. And then put some sesame seeds and chopped peanuts on top. If you add some soft boiled egg, it will be more gorgeous. Lastly, if you want to make it extra spicy, Please add a little bit of chili oil. This will make it more beautiful and add more flavor. Now it's done. Let's go to our taste tester. Claire. Oh my gosh. We are topping visual. It looks heavenly. Doesn't it? 각각의 재료들이 싱싱하게 다 살아있는 느낌이야. 너무 예뻐가지고 속기가 미안할 정도인데? <웃음> oh no. It's insane. Ready? Oh, <웃음> 와 대박인데? 진짜 맛있다. 되게 진하다. 너무 맛있는데? 거기다가 이 크리미한 거에 그 마라 향이 너무 잘 어울리네. <웃음> 이거는 와 너무 맛있어. 듬뿍 듬뿍 넣어줬네. 땅콩 냄새 장난 아니다. 음, 와우, 오. 와 진짜 맛있다 자기야. 그냥 너무 맛있어서 어떻게 말로 설명할 수 없을 것 같아. 그냥 완벽해. And look at this boiled egg. It's insane, right? 이거 어떻게 쌌는지 설명해줬어? 설명해야 돼. <웃음> 나 원래 이렇게 맛있는 부분을 제일 마지막에 아껴놓는데 오늘은 먹겠다. <웃음> 진짜 맛있다. 진짜 이거 밖에서 사 먹을 필요가 없네. 아! 수저가 이 한국 수저라면 조금 아쉽긴 하다. 그 수저 있잖아. 라면 집에 있는 거. 그걸 준비했었어야지. That's the only complaint today. So good. Perfect. Today, I showed you how to make authentic Japanese tantan man. As you can see, it's really easy to make, so you don't have to drive too far only for one bottle of ramen. It's not a thing only restaurants can make, so please give it a shot. If you do, you might feel like you should open a ramen restaurant or something. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.